the power of dedication. In this video, what I want to do is I want to express a certain servitude we can all effectively ignite within us, which will ultimately protect us from the disconnect, the ultimately disconnecting from our true self. First, I would like to bring to awareness what I refer to as the true self, and then we will continue within progressing within what the essence of servitude is. Now, what I would like to bring forward is that the true self is ultimately inner contentment. It's the acknowledgement and representation of our true existence. And this true existence is effectively a plane of infinite imagination. It is effectively the interconnectedness of one's self. It is, you could reflect as the soul, and that soul is effectively interconnected within a domain greater than this reality. Now, what I would like to bring forward is that this existence basically is interpreted via the brain, via the mind, and we are living within a, ultimately, a simulation which is providing our minds constant information. And unless we break free of this bombardment of perception, we will effectively stay contained living our life from our mind. And this is not a negative thing as long as we can connect to effectively contentment. And that contentment is representing a sense of, you could say, contentment is effectively divinity. Because as long as we are untouched within contentment, we can reflect our true self, we can be ourselves and we can love ourselves and we can live our life on this planet reflecting a true value of ourselves. And contentment is, is effectively what we must strive for. We must feel content. We must feel like we belong. And ultimately, for many of us, we will only reach that contentment when we do feel a sense of belonging and the and how we reach that sense of belonging is effectively connecting to to our soul to overweigh our mind's thoughts we must understand that this reality is effectively programming our attention perceptionally within our minds we're only perceiving information and ultimately living a life via our minds which will not necessarily need the the connection to the to the soul the mind itself is is designed to create fear to create stress to create drama to create distraction ultimately from representing and resembling our true self and the true self is effectively acknowledgement of one's true potential and the true potential is effectively connection to that true self. The true self acknowledges the mind's identity. The true self becomes aware that what the mind is here to do and what the mind is here to do is effectively program our attention away from acknowledging the true self. The true self can ultimately find purpose within true awareness and that true awareness resembles our true identity, who we, who we really are, what we've really come here to do, what we have come here to experience. We must remember who we are and why we have chosen to come to this planet. Because if we believe that we just happen to be here coincidentally, we are most likely interpreting information via our minds. We don't have connection to that true value, that true self, that true purpose that true inner knowledge, that true inner remembering of why we are really here, what we are really doing. And we must ask these questions. And the only true true way we can ask these questions deeply is by connecting within ourselves. Once we connect within ourselves, we will identify that everything happens for a reason. And when we understand that everything happens for a reason, we will start to acknowledge that everything is also distracting us for a reason. And when we can come back to our true self and acknowledge 
that this reality isn't a coincidence. We don't just happen to be here. Everything is aligned for us to experience. And experience brings choices, and choices will ultimately reflect the essence of choice of where we draw our attention to. Do we draw our attention inwards and expand outwards, or do we only, only effectively contain our imagination and our perspective from our mind's projection, which is ultimately designed to limitate and eliminate our true potential.